In heart failure, the heart is not functioning properly. The major function of the heart is to pump blood, and heart failure means no enough blood is getting out from the heart. If that happens due to any reason, blood accumulates inside the heart chambers, resulting in more pressure applied to its walls. Natriuretic peptides are hormones secreted from the heart when its wall is stretched due to volume overload. There are two types, AMP or arterial natriuretic peptide and BMP or brain natriuretic peptide. AMP is secreted from arterial myocytes while BMP is secreted from ventricular myocytes. From the name, we can realize their function. They are natriuretic peptides, and they promote diuresis and fluid excretion from the kidney. If that happens, less blood becomes in the system and less preload, and thus less stress on ventricles. So, natriuretic peptides work as homeostasis mechanism in response to volume overload and ventricular failure. It tries to help the heart receiving less blood by promoting diuresis, which would improve its function. There are other functions and mechanisms by which natriuretic peptides work. To understand these effects, we need to know what is known as preload and afterload. Preload generally means the pressure and fluid prior to the heart in the venous system, and afterload is the pressure against which the heart is pumping. If there is arterial vasoconstriction, we can imagine narrowing of a host against which facets is pumping water. Similarly, the heart will need to increase its work to pump against systemic vasoconstriction as the pressure increases. Now, the arterial nitriuretic peptides has inhibitory effect on the sympathetic nervous system, the lower vasopressin, and inhibit the renin angiotensin aldosterone systems. They also inhibit endothelin inflammatory cytokines. Normally, when we are in a stress situation, the sympathetic nervous system increases blood pressure, also causing tachycardia, urinary retention, and other effects that makes the body ready to face the fight-flight situation. Its effects on blood pressure is facilitated by vasoconstriction on the arterial system. Sympathetic also vasoconstrict veins because that squeezes more blood to the heart to be pumped and helps the situation. Now, by inhibiting the sympathetic nervous system, natriuretic peptides promote vasodilation in arterial and venous system. Vasodilation in arteries lowers the pressure against which the heart will pump, and that helps the failing heart. And vasodilation in veins decreases blood reaching the heart, thus protect the failing heart from receiving extra blood. By this way, AMP and BMP are secreted in heart failure. They lower preload and afterload. The renin angiotensin aldosterone system causes fluid retention from renal tubules and leads to arteriolar vasoconstriction. By inhibiting them, AMP and BMP reduce afterload by causing arteriolar dilatation and reduce preload by preventing fluid retention. Similarly, by inhibiting brain secretion of vasopressin, which is the antidiuretic hormone, natriuretic peptides promote diuresis, leading to less fluid in the system and less preload. In short, they work in relaxing the heart and preventing more blood to arrive to it and less pressure against which the heart needs to pump. There is a third type of natriuretic peptide recently discovered named CMP. This form is found to be produced by endothelial cells. It affects the vessels but has no effect on diuresis. 
Notice that BMP was named brain because it was initially found in Brocaine brain. Measuring BMP and NT pro BMP, which is N terminal pro BMP, which is isotype that can be measured in the lab, are used to diagnose and monitor patient with heart failure. Literally, a normal level exclude the presence of heart failure. However, in patient with already diagnosed heart failure, the level can return to normal value if the disease is controlled properly. Also, measuring BMP is used to assess response to treatment in heart failure. It is found that various drugs of heart failure, including diuretics, AC inhibitors, and spironolactone reduce the BMP concentration. Elevated level is found in congestive heart failure, myocardial infarction, systemic hypertension, heart transplant rejection, and co-pulmonal. All these disorders share the common issue of increased ventricular and arterial pressure. Natriuretic peptides try to cause cardiac relaxation.